at you. It's awesome to be you. Welcome to a fun and exciting learning with Grade 2 English. I am Teacher Isa, teaching all the way from the beautiful municipality of San Vicente, Palawan. Hear that? Stop! Can you help me identify the sounds that we just heard? Come on, come closer. Close your eyes, focus on a particular sound, and listen. What sound do you hear? Right, it is a sound of a cat. Can you make the sound of a cat? Amazing! Let's listen again. What sound do you hear this time? Good, it is a sound of a drum. Can you imitate the sound of a drum? Awesome! Okay, are you having fun? Let's focus on the next sound. What do you think produces that sound? Right! It is a sound of a beeping car. Let's imitate the sound. Beep, beep. You're getting good at this. Hmm. It sounds familiar. Can you tell me what produces that sound? Ah, yes. It is the sound of waves crushing on the beach. Let's make that sound. Whoosh, whoosh. Very nice. Do you now have an idea of our lesson today? Right. In today's episode, you are going to listen and learn how to classify, identify, Recognize sounds produced by animals, musical instruments, transportation vehicles, and sounds from nature. Get, get your pen, module and notebook, sit and learn with me. Are you ready? Great! In this activity, we will be identifying the sounds according to their source. Flashed on the screen are eight pictures. You have to listen attentively to the sound for you to know what the source is. Write the name of the source of the sound in your notebook. For 10 seconds, 
You need to identify each sound. Are your pen and notebook ready? Then let's begin with the first sound. Next sound, please. What produces this next sound? Here's the next. Fifth sound, please. Next sound. Next sound, please. <laughs> now, down to our last sound. Were you able to easily identify each sound? Well, let us see. Let us check your answers. What produces this sound? Yes, it is a drum being played. What about the second sound? Correct! It is a ringing telephone. And the third sound? Good job! It is a guitar being strummed. So love the music. Let us have the fourth one. What is the source of this sound? Very easy. It is a dog barking. Now, what about this? It is a helicopter. Hmm. What about this sound? Definitely right. It is a clock. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm pretty sure you know this sound. Correct again. It is a duck. And the last one? Impressive! We see this in hospitals. This is an ambulance. Great job, kids! You are really awesome! Before we move on, let us have a break and hear an awesome trivia. Have you ever wondered why there are times when a dog just suddenly barks at something that we cannot see? It is because they can actually hear better than most of us. A dog can hear four times farther away than a regular person. If you observe a dog while it listens, you will see that its ears can move in different directions. This is because of the 18 or more muscles found in a dog's pinna or ear flap. Awesome, isn't it? Different kinds of sounds come from different sources like animals, vehicles, or musical instruments. 
Now, can you help me classify each sound whether it is produced by an animal, a vehicle, or a musical instrument? Great! I know this time you are really good at this. Hurry, ready your pen and your notebook. Draw a table with two rows and three columns. Write on the first column the word animal. On the next column, write the word vehicle. And on the last column, write the word musical instrument. Once you hear the sound, write down in the appropriate column the name of the animal, vehicle, or musical instrument that produces the sound. Are your tables ready? Now, let us start listening. Sound number one. What produces that sound? Make sure to write it under the right column. Now let's hear sound number two. Which column should that be? Now, get ready for the next. Sound number three, please. That sounds easy. Now, let's hear sound number four. What produces that sound? Remember to write the name under the right column. Now, here's the sound number five. We're down to our last. Sound number six, please. Did you hear the sounds clearly? Awesome! Now, let us see if you really classified them correctly. What produces this sound? Very good! It's a motorcycle and it's a vehicle. This should be placed in the middle column. Next, what about this sound? Fantastic! It's a snake and it's an animal. This must be in the first column. Let's hear the third one. What produces this sound? Terrific! It's a guitar. Which column are we going to put the word guitar? Yes, in the third column, musical instrument. Now, let's hear the next sound. What produces this sound? Yes! It's a cow, and this is definitely an animal. So let's put this in the animal column. Hmm, I really love the sound of this next one. What do you think produces this sound? Good, it's a flute. Which column does this belong? Right, still in the third column, musical instrument. 
Let's listen again. What could you say? It's a sound. Correct. It's a train. Which column are we going to put the word train? Exactly. In the middle column, vehicle. If yes, then it means you really did a good job. And that's awesome. Oh, it is really relaxing hearing the soft sound of the birds chirping. <gasps> that was really a loud siren of a fire truck. Just what an emergency situation needs. After learning how to classify sounds by their sources, now we will learn another way to classify them. We can also classify a sound if it is a loud or high sound or a soft or low sound. Soft sounds are produced in low volume, usually they are difficult to be heard. Just like the relaxing chirping of a bird. The buzzing of a bee is another example of a low sound. That was refreshing. And yes, the sound of a blowing wind is also another example of a soft sound produced by nature. More examples of soft sounds are the soft sound of a piano and the sound of a bike being pedaled. Can you think of other animals, objects, musical instruments, transportation vehicles, that produce soft sound? Great! I will give you 10 seconds to write them down in your notebook. Now, let us talk about loud sounds. Loud sounds are produced in high volume. They may cause you to cover your ears and they can be easily heard. That is why they are often heard in vehicles being used in times of emergencies like a fire truck and an ambulance. And that is the roaring sound of a thunder. An example of a loud sound produced by nature. More examples of loud sounds are the drumstick striking a drumhead, the roar of a lion, and the ringing of a phone. Can you think of other animals, objects, musical instruments, transportation vehicles that produce loud sound? Great! Write them down! In your notebook, Write down the word loud if the sound is produced in high volume. Or write soft if the sound is produced in soft volume. You will be given 10 seconds to write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Bell
two, cat. Three, ambulance. Four, watch. Five, dog. Six, fireworks. Let us check your answers. Does the bell produce a loud or soft sound? Very good! Loud sound. What about the cat? Does it produce a loud or soft sound? Right! It produces a soft Sound. Does this watch produce a soft or loud sound? Great! It produces a soft sound. I'm pretty sure that you already know the answer to this one. A dog. Does it produce a loud or soft sound? Right! A dog produces a loud sound. I love to see fireworks for their colorful look in the night sky. Do they produce a soft or loud sound? Definitely! They produce a loud sound. You are really good at this! Review, 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 review. Come on, come on, open your notes and have fun. We're going back to where we began. For English is fun. Today, we have learned about sounds and their sources. We also identified the sounds whether they are from animals, transportation vehicles, musical instruments, or our environment. And lastly, we also learned to classify sound as loud or high and soft or low. This has really been an amazing educational journey with you. Did you have fun? Me too! Once again, this is Teacher Isa. And remember, English is fun and it's for everyone. See you again here on Dab Ed TV!